in a shock move that sent seismic waves across the geopolitical landscape. Yemeni fighter jets soared over the skies of Tel Aviv, launching a daring raid on the heart of Israel, igniting a firestorm of reactions and remapping regional power dynamics overnight. Yemeni soldiers have recently made headlines worldwide, leaving the global community in awe. The daring move involved the launch of warplanes on the Israeli capital, Tel Aviv, in a powerful display of solidarity with the Palestinian people. This audacious act of defiance has rippled through the international stage, sparking heated debates about its motives, implications, and the broader context surrounding this unprecedented event. To truly grasp the significance of this moment, we must journey into the intricate history of Yemen's involvement in the Middle East, navigating the ongoing Israeli-Palestinian conflict and the geopolitical factors that have fueled such a bold action. In recent years, Yemen has grappled with internal conflicts, notably the Yemeni civil war that erupted in 2015. The devastating consequences of foreign interventions, led by Saudi Arabia and a coalition against the Houthi rebels, have inflicted immense suffering on the Yemeni people, with millions facing famine and displacement. Against this backdrop, Yemen finds itself at the crossroads of regional rivalries, becoming a focal point in the broader power struggles of the Middle East. The geopolitical landscape, marked by shifting alliances and constant regional rivalries, shapes the decisions of nations in the region. Yemen has historically maintained close ties with Iran, which supports the Houthi rebels in their resistance against the Saudi coalition. Iran's involvement is seen as part of a broader strategy to challenge Saudi Arabia's influence in the Arabian Peninsula and extend its reach in the region. On the flip side, Israel enjoys unwavering support from the United States, considering it a key ally in the Middle East. The U.S. has provided Israel with military aid and political backing, enabling the nation to maintain military superiority in the region. This dynamic has fueled tensions between the U.S. and Iran, adding to the volatility of the Middle East. In light of these intricate geopolitical dynamics, Yemen's decision to launch warplanes on Tel Aviv cannot be viewed in isolation. It emerges as a symbolic act of solidarity with the Palestinian people who have endured decades of displacement and violence. This bold move by Yemen resonates as a poignant statement on the global stage, intertwining complex histories, power struggles, and a commitment to a cause larger than the nation itself. The Israeli-Palestinian conflict stands as one of the enduring and contentious issues in the Middle East, continually drawing strong emotions and international attention. The Palestinian cause has found support globally, with nations and organizations expressing solidarity through diplomatic means, financial aid, and vocal condemnations of Israeli policies. However, Yemen has taken an unprecedented step, dramatically escalating the situation by launching a military strike that has caught the international community off guard. The consequences of Yemeni warplanes striking Tel Aviv has been profound, causing significant damage to infrastructure and civilian areas, resulting in casualties and escalating tensions in the region. Israel swiftly responded by deploying advanced missile defense systems to intercept incoming Yemeni aircraft and launching retaliatory strikes on Yemeni military installations. The international community reacted with alarm, urging restraint and a return to diplomatic efforts to address the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. In response to the Yemeni attack, the United Nations Security Council convened an emergency session to discuss the situation. World leaders expressed their concerns over the potential for further escalation in an already volatile region. Israel's response to the Yemeni attack was swift and decisive. The Israeli government condemned the act as an unprovoked act of aggression and vowed to defend its citizens and territory. As tensions continue to escalate, the eyes of the world remain fixed on the unfolding developments in this deeply entrenched and sensitive conflict. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's address to the nation marked a resolute stance against the Yemeni attack on Israeli soil. Israel's response was swift and unequivocal, with a commitment to safeguarding its people. Netanyahu emphasized that Israel would not tolerate such attacks and pledged to take all necessary measures to ensure the nation's security. The military promptly launched counterattacks on Yemeni military installations, concurrently fortifying missile defense systems to thwart future threats. The Israeli defense forces were placed on high alert and emergency measures were implemented to safeguard civilians in anticipation of potential further attacks. In the aftermath of the Yemeni strike on Tel Aviv, global attention shifted to Iran, a prominent supporter of Yemen's healthy rebels. Despite Iran's denial of direct involvement, suspicions lingered regarding its potential supply of military capabilities to the Houthis. Iran's contentious role in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict 
marked by calls for Israel's destruction and support for regional militant groups, added complexity to the situation. The United States, a steadfast ally of Israel, swiftly responded to the crisis. President Joe Biden condemned the Yemeni attack, reiterating the U.S.'s unwavering commitment to Israel's security. In a show of support, the U.S. government announced the dispatch of additional military assets to reinforce Israel's defenses. Simultaneously, diplomatic efforts were initiated by the U.S. and other major powers to de-escalate tensions. High-level meetings involving representatives from Yemen, Israel, and regional stakeholders were convened, aiming to find a peaceful resolution to the crisis. The United Nations played a pivotal role in these negotiations, striving to broker a ceasefire and restart talks between Israel and the Palestinians. The Yemeni strike on Tel Aviv reverberated across the international community, eliciting diverse reactions from nations worldwide. As diplomatic endeavors unfolded, the world awaited the outcome, acutely aware of the delicate balance in the region and the potential ramifications of this unforeseen escalation. While some countries condemned the attack and called for an immediate ceasefire, others voiced support for Yemen's actions, framing it as a response to ongoing Israeli aggression against Palestinians. Arab nations, many with long-standing conflicts with Israel, found themselves in a delicate position. Some issued statements denouncing the attack, but stopped short of endorsing Yemen's actions. The Arab League held an emergency meeting, calling for a ceasefire and a return to negotiations. The European Union, a significant player in the Middle East peace process, expressed deep concern over the situation. European leaders emphasized the need for a peaceful resolution and urged all parties to refrain from further escalation. During chaos and uncertainty, the Palestinian territories, particularly Gaza and the West Bank, became the focus of international attention. Palestinians had varied reactions to Yemen's actions, reflecting the complexity of their political landscape. In Gaza, where Hamas has been in control since 2007, reactions were mixed. Some Palestinians celebrated the Yemeni strike as a symbol of Arab solidarity, while others were cautious, recognizing the potential for Israeli retaliation and further suffering for Gazan civilians already enduring a humanitarian crisis. In the West Bank, governed by the Palestinian Authority led by President Muhammad Abbas, there were calls for unified Palestinian response. President Abbas expressed support for diplomatic efforts to end the crisis and called for Palestinian unity in the face of external challenges. The recent Yemeni strike on Tel Aviv, discussed at length, brings to the forefront the myriad of challenges in achieving lasting peace in the Middle East. The persistent Israeli-Palestinian conflict, spanning decades, has resisted all attempts at resolution. This recent event further underscores the deep-seated grievances and complex web of interests that fuel the conflict. Central to the challenges in the question of Palestinian statehood and the borders of a future Palestinian state, ongoing Israeli settlement construction in the West Bank, deemed illegal under international law, remains a contentious issue. Additionally, the status of Jerusalem claimed as the capital by both Israelis and Palestinians remains deeply divisive. External factors such as Iran and the United States complicate peace efforts. Iran's support for militant groups hostile to Israel and the unwavering U.S. support for Israel create an environment of mistrust and hostility, hampering diplomatic progress. Despite these challenges, the international community remains committed to finding a peaceful resolution. The recent crisis triggered by the Yemeni attack on Tel Aviv has renewed diplomatic efforts. There's a collective recognition that the status quo is unsustainable and detrimental to the well-being of the region. The Yemeni strike, in solidarity with Palestine, has thrown the Middle East into turmoil with far-reaching consequences for regional stability. While the immediate aftermath saw heightened tensions and military escalations, it also reignited international efforts to address the long-standing Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Thank you for sticking with us through this analysis. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure the notification bell is turned on so you don't miss any future videos.